Hey, my name is Phil from beginnerwebsite.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to clone a WordPress website to another domain name. Now this is going to be step by step. I'm also gonna show you live how you actually do this. And by the end of this video, you should have moved or cloned your website to another domain name. Now this is handy if you are rebranding and also if you are creating a website on a test domain or a um, workable domain and you wanna put it to the live site, this is perfect for that. Um, I've used this particular method dozens of times and every single time it works really well. So what I have got here, first of all, is this one domain named funnelsociety.co. Let's just say, for example, I wanna move it to this brand new WordPress install that I've created called webautomation.co. What I need to do, first of all, is pack up this website and then add it into this brand new WordPress install. So let's go ahead and actually start get going. So the first thing you wanna do is come to the top and come to the dashboard on both of these websites, okay? And what you wanna do is come down to plugins and click on add new. Now we're going to be using a free plugin to do this, so don't worry, you don't need to buy anything or anything like that. And what we wanna do is just come across to the search plugins section and just type in here migration. And let that load for a few seconds and the first one we're going to see is all-in-one WP migration. So go ahead, click on install now and we'll wait for it to install. Then we'll go ahead and activate it and now it is ready on one website to move. Now we've got to go ahead and do the same thing to another website. So log into the, the website where you want the website to be moved to come to plugins once again click on add new and what we want to do once again is look up migration okay let it load for a few seconds come to all in one wp migration click on install and then once it's finished click on activate once again and now we have got the web or the plugin installed on both sites now we need to go back to the website that we want to move we need to come to the, uh, on the left, we have this all-in-one WP migration tab and come across to export. So you wanna click on export and then it says here export to and then you just wanna choose file. So go ahead, click on that and what it's actually going to do is start compacting up all of the different types of files that you have inside of your website. It's also taking records of your databases, everything that is included inside of the website and it's putting it into one nice and neat file. And then once this is finished compacting, it's gonna start downloading. And then once that's downloaded, it's time to upload it. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually just pause the website and let you know roughly how long it has taken to compress this entire site. Okay, so that has now completed. It took two minutes and 27 seconds to compress this entire website into one file. And then what we can do now is go ahead and download this. So what you wanna do is click on that download link and in a few moments, it is going to download the website file to your computer. So depending on your internet speed and depending how big your website is, it might take slightly longer, it might take slightly um, shorter. So what I'm gonna do is once again, pause the video, let these two minutes pass to download this file and then I will show you the next step. Okay, so that has now completed. We have our website file right here ready for us to import. So what we want to do now is come across to the other website where we have installed the plugin once again. And now all we want to do is come across on the left to all-in-one WP migration. This time we're going to choose import. So click on import. Now you'll see this area here, drag and drop a backup to import it. You can either click on it and choose file. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna make it a bit easier and just drag it in like so and drop it in. Now what you wanna do once again is, is, is it's going to upload. And while it's uploading, you can either go and make a cup of tea or whatever you like, because this is going to take a couple of minutes. Once it's uploaded, it's also going to unpack everything. And then it's gonna give us the option to make it live. So as you can see, we are almost completed. And in a few more seconds, you will see that we are pretty much good to go. I'll just let it load a couple more seconds and then you will see it will be ready to roll. So now we are done. As you can see, the import process will override your website, including the database, media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. So this is basically saying, hey, everything is good to go. If you wanna 
turn um, if you want to import the website and make it live just click on proceed so what I'm going to do is click on proceed and in just a few moments you will see your site has been imported successfully it took about maybe 30 seconds for everything to unpack but it's all done go ahead click on finish and now your website is live now nothing has changed in the back end but don't worry everything is live but one thing to remember is now you've imported your old website with that's the same with the users all of the data everything like that so the logins are also going to be different they're going to be the same as your old website so what i'm going to do is quickly show you what the live website looks like now okay so as you can see it's an exact duplicate of the existing website that we had before so i'll just open them both up so as you can see going between um, the one and the other these are exactly the same websites what we want to do right now is log in okay so you can go to the dashboard put in um, forward slash wp hyphen admin okay to log into your dashboard it's going to say you need to update your database it's only going to take a split second then click on continue and now we can enter in our login information so i'm just going to quickly pause the video and log in okay so i am now logged in if you look on the left here if i switch between the two dashboards you will now notice the dashboards are exactly the same you'll also notice that i've got the same plugins right so wp funnels woocommerce all-in-one wp migration and that's the same for both of the sites so everything is good to go now if you are happy with your new domain name that you have now uploaded your website to what we need to do is think of how we want to actually um, get rid of the old website do we want to delete the entire thing and have a domain redirect or do we want to buy some time and just use a wordpress plugin redirect now the reason we are doing this for the old website is right now we have two live exact duplicate websites which in google's eyes is actually kind of spammy they know something's wrong so they're just going to disregard both of them so the easiest way to do it just to buy yourself some time is come back to your old domain right so funnelsociety.co for me this is where the website originally was what you want to do is come to plugins come to add new once again and what we're going to do is just look for simple redirect okay and we'll just let that load for a few seconds and what we are looking for is simple i'll actually type in simple website redirect that will probably narrow it down quite good so this is the one we want simple website redirect right it's got over 10,000 installs click on install now and what this is going to do is install the plugin then we want to activate it like so and now on the left we look for settings and at the bottom we have here website redirect and it's just got a very simple url right here what we want to do is type in our new website um, domain so i'm just going to actually copy it it's a little bit faster I'll just paste it in there and then what we want to do is go to redirect status and click on enabled so click on save and now every time someone goes to our old domain they're instantly going to get redirected to the new one so let me show you how that works so i'll just paste this in here press enter then all of a sudden we're redirected to the brand new site now this is really good because you can still actually go back to the old website and enter it via the wp admin panel so you still have the old website there if you need it however all of the new traffic that comes to your website will now be redirected to your brand new domain and it's going to keep the ranking juices that google has already given you and it's going to make it look everything the same except it's going to have the brand new domain name so that's it guys we have learnt how to clone a wordpress website to another domain name and it hasn't taken very long at all if it was to if i was to do this myself without explaining it it'd probably take maybe five minutes including the downloading and uploading time so hopefully you have learned something if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe i've got so many great wordpress tutorials coming your way but that's it from me guys once again my name is phil from beginner website and i look forward to seeing you on the next video